What's up all my nerd friends out there? This is Mr. Chili here and I want to go talk to you guys about One Piece chapter 1104 because oh my god this week was amazing. It made me teared and man this arc is a heartbreaking arc. It is and oh my god it was awesome to see Kuma. I'm gonna get straight to it. Kuma punching Saint Saturn the face. That was so amazing. I was like hell you just knock his ass out. Kick his ass. He Saint Saint Saturn was like mm, traumatized. He was like scared of shit. It's like what the hell just happened here? What the like? Even the soldiers like shocked. The best part was we got a flashback. So people were like maybe skip some chapters or whatever. Um, I don't know why we skip some chapters, but we got a flashback of Kuma's life. What Saint Saturn done to his life? Killed his mother and father. Turned into a slave. Killed basically kidnapped his wife or the woman he loved and. Basically raped her and he, she gave her a disease, left her a child, did the same thing to his child, forced him into working with the government, turned him against his friends, turned into an android, did so much shit to Kuma, the government did it, and it was Saint Saturday that ordered all this shit on Kuma. So to Kuma, for Kuma to throw in this punch and knocking Saint Saturday on his ass, oh my god, was amazing. Whoa. Even the soldiers were shocked when he saw it. Saint Saturn flying over the battlefield, throwing across, got soccer punched by Kuma. Amazing artwork right there, too. They all say, I slave did that to Saint, one well, of the five elders, the highest order of the government. And they were shocked, like they couldn't believe it. And uh, it was the most heartbroken moment of that whole story was when Kuma picked up his daughter, Bonnie. And Bonnie broke, um, broke down, was so happy to see her father. Cause you know Kumo still is not there. He he he's basically moving on free will, a soul. Basically, the soul's taking over by. He's not talking. He's not saying Bonnie. He picked her up. Like you say, he, he basically the soul took it over. Took over a robot body that cannot speak. And he picked up Bonnie, and Bonnie was crying, mentioning, telling Kuma that he he she saw everything. She knows about her mom. Knows what the government did. Knows that she he wrote for her, that Kuma never gave up loving her when. The, government told him he cannot write or see his daughter whatsoever in that period when she was recovering from the um disease she had so that was heartbreaking like she he'd never see his daughter and all that shit and, and it was just seeing bonnie saying that he she knew he didn't believe any of the shit they wrote about kuma like he was a tyrant he was evil he was a devil and all that stuff all the terrible things that the government said about him she didn't believe any of that she knows that he's the most kindest person in the world the coolest person and that was like Oh, it's tearing me up right now because Kuma is this great person, like a character that doesn't deserve all these terrible deeds that happened to him. Even he did so much to help the, the Straw Hat Pirates. Even the like Frankie and Sanji jumped in to help Kuma. Uh, Sanji helped save his daughter mostly, but you know he wants to save Kuma as well because that would hurt Bonnie. And Frankie already said like he wants to pay back Kuma what he did um, for them as well. He helped them in a way, basically get him out of that jam when um, Kizuru, the government surrounding them, they were, not, they were not ready for the new world. He helped them. He protected their ship. So Kuma did a lot for the Straw Hat Pirates. So I know Luffy's got to throw down because Luffy's running around free now. We don't know where he is, but Kizuru's backed up. They're both the big dogs back up. And I thought Kizuru made change of heart. Uh, he's been talking to himself little by little. He's like saying, oh, wow, he's all grown up. I think he's talking about Kuma. I think you haven't seen Kuma like for a while maybe because he seems android but now like human spirit or something i don't know like i said his real part in this is kind of weird like i said he feels like everyone they all friends right here they all been together being a punk um central morrow central morrow the guy with the big old axe and kuma all work together at one point and they're all used to be friends now like he's betrayed them he's a traitor kids was a piece of shit now he blasts frankie away so i thought he might change his heart maybe because he learned a little bit of kuma backstory but we'll see like i thought he was the one that gave the fruit or the food to luffy someone gave one someone gave luffy food to help regenerate to get back to being his joy boy from his gear five i think they call it gear five yeah gear five so yeah we'll see the whole fight again luffy versus kizuru um next week's chapter Kids are up. They ordered the Buster call on the island now. So they're going all crazy. Everyone's trying to escape. They could destroy the island. We're, you know the Buster call. The Buster call is what destroyed Nico Robin's island. They could obliterate everything. Nothing's going to stand. This is going to be a wasteland now. They're gonna, this cannon's going to fly high. Skies, hell, fire, and everything. It's just going to boom. They're going to blow up this damn island. 
So, whew, next chapter is be crazy. And this is, we're on the arc. The anime is on this arc now. I can't just imagine. I'm going to go do this torture, crying again, learning about Kuma's life and everything that's happening right now. Bonnie, all the pain of Bonnie had to witness. Her father went through it. Oh, my God. <sighs> amazing story right here. Amazing story. And I wonder how they all could get off. That's a, another big thing is um, I keep thinking Kakuma sent everyone off before. Feels like the same instant before. I feel like Kuma's got one last farewell. Like he's still not there in his body, but he knows he wants to help somehow. His soul, he's going to send him all away. Like that's the way to escape. He's going to send his daughter, uh, Straw Hat, Speaking Punk. They're all going to escape the island. Um, and he's going to stay on the island and get blown up. It's going to be sad, Sandy, but I'm glad to give him kind of like a fitting ending. He was able to throw down with St. Saturn. He was able to save his daughter. I think, like I said, I'm, that's my prediction. I think he's going to send him all away like he did Straw Hat Pirates way back in the day. I think he's going to do that again with his power. So that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see that. That's my prediction. But comment below. Give me your guys' thoughts on this week's chapter, 1104. What do you think about Kuma um, saving his daughter, um, fighting St. Saturn, knocking on his ass. That was awesome. What do you guys think about what's happened with the Buster Call? Uh, Kizaru's back up. We're going to get a rematch with Kizaru and Luffy going at it. Uh, how they got the Straw Hat Pirates and Vegan Punk and Bonnie to escape the island. Uh, the Buster Call is summoned. So comment below. Give me your guys' thoughts on this week's chapter One Piece. It was amazing. My book. I loved it. But give me your guys' thoughts. I'd like to hear it. But thank you all for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I love talking nerd stuff, y'all. Please hit that notification to get all my other man manga review talk. I'm at my I'm be releasing my my Hero Academia. My Hero Academia was pretty good this week. Got a lot of catch up from there. I uh, want to talk to with you guys about and definitely Jujutsu Kaisen. Ooh, Jujutsu Kaisen this week was amazing. Go check out my video on that as well. But thank you all for watching again. Hope to see you again. Have a good day and good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.